Hello and welcome to the second part of Short Takes with Getch. In the first part, I talked about my admiration for Maya Angelou and how the poem Strong Woman was inspiration to, an inspiration to me. And I wanted to focus on an athlete and follow on that trend and focus on an athlete that has really inspired me. If you don't know, I'm a competitive powerlifter and I've been competing for about six years now in powerlifting prior to my career in powerlifting I did soccer for like a short stint and I really was passionate about track and field. Uh, so athleticism and finding female role models in sports has always been important to me. I can probably list, list so like a handful of women that I really identified with growing up and it's no fault of other women but I think in the sports that I wanted and how I viewed myself there were a few women that I really really um, identified with and so I'm gonna list some of them and then tell you why so I think if I look back think really far back I think the first woman that I really identified with in sports was um, I want to say it's a tie between Jackie Jordan Kersey and Flojo I think it was actually Jackie Jordan Kersey um, I really loved how like competitive she was I loved um, that she had the same skin tone as me and she wasn't someone that was like no offense to um, Flojo she was amazing she was fierce fabulous and fierce in sports but I think I just saw myself more in Jackie Joyner Kirstie and even the way she wore her hair it wasn't like super flowy it was just simple and I just really identified with someone that's just down for business in sports and even when I compete now yes I'll put my makeup on for competitions but my hair is like as simple as can be I don't have time to be like doing anything really fancy because I'm down for business and I think I like related to that even at a very young age with her um growing up I I loved Alice and Felix like I had that there was a high school sports magazine that they had in high school and um, I'm sorry if there's like glare from the ring light but I didn't need my glasses today um, but she was like on the front cover as like a budding athlete like a national athlete to watch in track and field I did track and field she was amazing I had a poster in my room she was on my vision board for like a, se a project that I had to do in psychology I just loved her and I and growing up I, I love how she injects her faith and she has this calm powerful presence and it's like really hard to explain because she's not like one of those like flashy athletes she's just calm she's kind of lanky she's not even the traditional looking track athlete with the really thick muscles but she just has this calm presence those braids the the way that she just is seems so simple in the way that she approaches her track and field she's very disciplined and she also talks about her faith in a way that's not condescending but all very natural and she this is like an olympian so as someone that has had issues struggling talking about their faith in a fear of i don't know being rejected um having her to look up to was really um cool and especially now as i am somewhat of inspiration to some people it's great to be able to just mix all of the what makes me who I am and not just what I sh what time I perform um, or what lift I lift but everything that makes you the woman that you are um, so Allison Felix is definitely one and if you don't know who my favorite all-time like athlete celebrity icon in the world is then you don't know because she <laughs> it would be Serena Williams she is phenomenal i have to admit that when i first started watching the williams sisters i was team venus and i think it was because a she's the oldest and or she's older than serena and b i think um she was just dominating more at the time and something about serena just like won me over and i think it was because a i could see myself in her she had this a similar physique as i did growing up a physique that she's undergone a lot of criticism because of her muscularity she's undergone a lot of cr criticism in dating from guys because of the way she looks and she's overcome it all obviously as a woman you do take some of that to heart 
If you haven't read my Love Letters to Serena Williams, it's a blog post that I wrote probably, it would, it would have been around the US Open time, so in September. Please read it. I really poured my heart and soul into that and one day I dreamed to meet Serena Williams but I just, she just means so much to me as a person and as someone that's a wife now, she means a lot to me as an example of what a true partnership in marriage can be, having a husband that supports her in her awesomeness but doesn't seem to be like belittled by that. That's, um, a, that was a great motivator for me. Um, and I do believe that I found that in my husband, so it's great to have that, um, have had that kind of inspiration. And as someone that is now a mother, ha watching her balance that, I'm not sure how that much that might influence me in my future, but seeing that it is possible and she's overcoming all the obstacles that come with the different stages in her life and with so much criticism, it's amazing how much she is criticized and critiqued as compared to people that are not even like half as talented as she is and she's a businesswoman she's a hustler and I am trying my best to be a hustler but she is really an inspiration and so in terms of strong athlete athletic women that I admire um, it would definitely be Serena Williams as like a bonus this is not an athlete she's an actress <laughs> but I think my first like strong woman icon ever not even an athlete was definitely um, Lucy Lawless as she played Xena Warrior Princess. I just loved how badass she was. Um, my favorite, I always joke my my princess that I watched growing up was Xena Warrior Princess. I just loved how she was against the grain. She didn't need to be saved by any man and she was fierce and powerful and strong and that was also around the time that women wrestlers were um, growing up in popularity before the days of the divas that are on TV and VH1 I think but um, watching those wrestlers come up like China I loved watching those women that were just different they really made it po possible to just do something different the idea that I would become a competitive powerlifter probably just seemed crazy to would seem crazy to me as a young Ogechi because I never saw female powerlifters at all and who knows maybe ideally one girl is watching me or another female powerlifter and sees that representation and will say like oh my gosh I want to be a competitive powerlifter I want to be a crossfit athlete I want to be in the titan games or something like that but seeing those possibilities creates doors for opportunities for other people and the women that I mentioned um, created that door of opportunity for me and I hope to do the same for someone in the future. Thank you for watching today's short take. If you have not liked it, please like it. If you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I plan on continuing to do more of these in the future. If you have suggestions on short takes that I could do, uh, please comment below or send me a DM. And I am wearing my Strong Women, Strong World in honor of International Women's Day. And those are show sold on my shop Adeze Designs Instagram or on the website adezedesigns.com. If you don't know, that's my t-shirt shop and Adeze means Daughter of the King, which is another empowering title and I chose that because I wanted people to feel empowered when they wore my designs. Thank you so much. Have a great day. <sighs> that one turned out good. <laughs>